morning, Al. Uh-huh. What are you working on? Latest cost of living index. Ah. Well, I see you made real coffee this morning. What's the matter? Didn't you have time to make instant? Uh-huh. You want a cup of coffee? Yeah. Listen to this, Richard. I think it'll interest you. In the last five years, the cost of bread has gone up about 60%, rent has gone up 27%, and coffee about 100%. Hmm? <laughs> How do you want your hot water? With or without lemon? <laughs> Come on now, Richard. I'm being serious. I mean, in the last five years, the prices have increased by 42%. And wages have only gone up 34%. Well, that's frightening. I don't know how the poor working man even survives. See, I knew you'd be interested. Ah, it's good work, Al. We'll use those figures in Friday's column. No, these figures are not for the column. What? I, I want to raise. I... <laughs> Look, Al. <laughs> Al, buddy. Does that mean no? Of course it does. I'd like to help you out. But if I give you a raise, I'll have to give everyone a raise. Richard, I'm the only one who works for you. <laughs> See what I mean? Come on, now, Richard. No, I'm not about to give you a raise, Al. I mean, there, that's... Good what? morning, Richard Barrington. Good morning, Alvin Brooks. I just stopped by for a quick kiss and a cup of coffee. Hmm? Mm. I'm on my way to the zoo to shoot pictures. The stork just had a baby. And she's having trouble explaining to her other children where it came from. That's nice. Look, Al, I want to tell you, I cannot afford to give you a raise. I don't care about those things. It's inflationary. It's not only inflationary. Bella's! 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 This is a very funny joke. You know, parents tell their children that the stork brings, you know, but storks, they have to tell they can't. Oh, the hell with it. I'm sorry, Charlie. Al and I were having a little, uh, salary discussion. My salary. You see, labor is trying to touch management's sense of the dignity of man, his need to uh, earn a living wage and to pay his own way. I understand, Al. You're trying to stick it to him. <laughs> How much do you need? 10%. How much are you offering? 5%. Demand 20 plus health insurance. Charlie! And a pension plan. Charlie! Or you'll strike and blow up his typewriter. Charlie! <laughs> All right. I'll go to 10% tops. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> and thank you, Charlie, for negotiating my contract. You're much cuter than George Meany. Who isn't? Well, now that you've settled for 10, let me tell you something, Al. Mm -hmm. You're worth 30. <laughs> you thought you got me with that. Hi, everybody. I've got great news. Mm. Mm, wait till you hear my news. I just got a raise, and now we can take that apartment overlooking the park. We? Apartment? Well, you sly old fox, you. Uh, I no sooner give you a raise than you have a little... Hey, it's called a relationship. <laughs> it's a beautiful word. So innocently sinful. It's also called shacking up. Uh... <laughs> We've got a better word. Yeah, it's called wedding. We're getting married. No! Married? That is marvelous! Oh, oh that's sensational! Oh. Oh, Lucy, let me kiss the bride! Oh, mwah! And Al! <laughs> yeah, you're right. Not in front of the girls. <laughs> well, this calls for the best wine in the house. Come on, Al. Oh, no, wait. Wait till you hear my news. I've got that new job I've been after. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Five nights a week, <coughs> me, a television reporter, feature stories and interviews from the Capitol, all on camera. I'll be as famous as Harry Reisner and Baba Wawa. <laughs> And the contract, look at the contract. Look at the money. Now we can afford that house. 
Oh, Lucy, oh, I think it's just great, great Lucy. Now really I guess I'm gonna have to stay up till eleven o'clock every yeah. night to watch the news. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna dress up a suit? Well, Al, what do you think? Isn't it marvelous? Marvelous. Oh, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. What do you expect me to do? Jump up and down, clap my hands, and do a little dance in the end zone? <laughs> I mean, with your raise and mine, now we can take that house and forget the apartment. We can take the apartment and forget the house. Yeah, but now we can afford the house. We can afford only what I can spend. Oh. <laughs> Does it really matter that I'll be making more than you? It matters a lot to me. Why? Because of pride. I mean, how does it look when a man's wife is paying his way? I mean, how do you think it makes him feel? Oh, that's it. You're standing there in your three-piece suit handing me that poor black ghetto family supported by the mother complaint. And it doesn't hold for us. I'm doing no such thing so you can save your social worker psychoanalysis for somebody else. I'm talking about a man, any man, wanting to pay his way. Al, it's only money. I mean, who cares who makes it? Look, I don't want to discuss this in public. Well, we have to sometime. Then hire a hall. You can afford it. <laughs> Al! I can't believe Al in that stale macho argument. Oh, I understand what Al is trying to say. <laughs> we men were raised to be the breadwinners. You women are still demanding equal rights. You won't be happy until you have your fair share of ulcers, nervous breakdowns, heart attacks. All those wonderful things that we men enjoy. Ouch. What's the matter? I was trying to hold my tongue and I bit it. All right, where's the champagne? Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Oh, congratulations. I knew you two would work it out. That was quick. Yeah, well, it's just a case of understanding each other's feelings. Come on, let's get that bubbly before it bursts, huh? Yeah. Uh, you're getting married feelings. in the morning. Congratulate me, Charlie. I'm going to be a bride. I not only congratulate you, I salute you. You must have worked miracles in there to resolve that argument so fast. Well, it wasn't exactly a miracle. We're not taking the house. We're taking the apartment. Lucy, what about your needs? Oh, the house is only a symbol. It's Al's ego that's all wrapped up in wanting to support a family, make the decisions, and pay his own way. He's decided we're going to live on his salary, so it's all settled. That's a small price to pay for a happy marriage. Isn't it, Charlie? Oh, no, 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 no. I am not butting into this. <laughs> you have my permission. Butt your heart out. Well... Well, let me put it this way. If you start out by giving in on this, you'll wind up giving in on everything. If Al has no respect for your needs, the rest of your life you'll just be his possession, his puppy dog. What do you want, a wedding ring or a flea collar? <laughs> Get me to the church! Get me to the church! Get me to the church! On time! <laughs> well, drink up, everybody. I'm glad you opened a big bottle, because this is going to be a triple celebration. All right. Triple? Yeah. To Al's raise, to our marriage, and to our new house. I thought we made a, a decision. I mean, what happened? I'm not going to spend the rest of my life wagging my tail. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Either we're moving into the house, or the wedding's off. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I just made another decision. The wedding's off. Well, I've got to get to work. Yeah, and I gotta get over to the zoo. <laughs> We've got a column to write. I don't feel like writing. Neither do I. <laughs> Let's go over to McGuffey's Tavern and get a six pack of bourbon. <laughs> now you're talking. Well, here's to equality. Well, at least now we know why Gloria Steinem is single. <laughs> You're not I hate these dark cocktail lounges. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I got it, I, I got it over here. That's okay, I got it. No, no wonder they keep this place so dark. This is the crummiest saloon we've been in all night. Hey, hey, bartender, hey, barkeep, hey. <laughs> Al, you want another Mai Tai? I thought you said we were going to the Playboy Club. Are you sure this is not the Playboy Club? Well, you don't see any bunnies around, do you? Not a damn one. Hey, bunny, bunny. Peter, Peter Cottontail. Up and down the bunny trip. Hey, Al. Wait a minute, Al. Hold, hold it, Al. Hold it. Hold, hold it, Al. Hold it. Hold it. Al. Al, are you holding it? L listen, Al. I think we're home. I think you're right. Miss a home, sweet home, Al. Yeah, home. <sighs> I'm sick of sitting around the house. Why don't we go out and get a little drink, huh? Hey, wait, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Richard. What, what, uh, we gotta work on the column for Thursday. Thursday? Wait a minute, Al. Al, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what day is it? <laughs> Friday. Al, yeah. we better work fast. Yeah. Okay, 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 Al. Come on, Al. Well, pull yourself together, Al. We got, we got a deadline, Al. Okay. Hey, hey, Al. S stop the presses, all right? We, we, we got a deadline to go here, Al. Uh, uh, Al, we, we got a little problem. What? The paper's got a point on it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I can fix it, Al. <laughs> How's that, Al? <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. What are we going to write about, Richard? We, we got to write something uh, simple. Re really, really simple, you know? Uh, I got it, Al. We'll write about the world. <laughs> and when it's all fouled up. Okay? <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I'm, I'm gonna write, Al. The world is all fouled up. <laughs> and, and so's the typewriter, Al. <laughs> uh, uh, 
it, it's all fouled up be, because uh, what was that reason again, Al? Lucy, Lucy, that's that's the reason, Al. The world is fouled up because I love Lucy. <laughs> I love Lucy. That's, that's ridiculous. We can't blame everything on a bunch of television reruns. You know what I mean? Al? Al? Stop, stop staring at me, Al. You know I can't think when you're staring at me, Al. Al? Oh, that, that's so disgusting. A, a newspaper man drunk. Oh. <laughs> Copy, boy! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what am I doing on the desk? Mm. Uh. Al? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Al? Mm. Al, wake up. Oh. Hello, Richard. How'd you sleep? <laughs> oh, terrific. Did you ever try to fluff up a Remington? <laughs> mm, why did we do what we did last night, Al? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why if you tell me what we did. We went to a bar, and we got drunk. Mm hmm? Oh. Uh, and uh, then we went to that, that other place. Oh, yeah? Mm. <laughs> I remember a fancy house with uh, beautiful women in champagne and low-cut dresses. <laughs> Richard, I haven't been to one of those places since I was in the Navy. You still haven't. It was the French Embassy. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Richard, I have a, a, a vague recollection that we solved my problem with Lucy last night. Well, yes, uh, sort of. Yeah, see, I, I remember I said that I couldn't marry a woman who was making more money than I was, so you gave me a raise to match her salary. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, but that didn't satisfy you. You wanted to make more money than Lucy. Did I get it? No, I fired you. <laughs> Wonderful. I got a hangover, I lost a woman and a job. Well, it's not too bad. I hired you again. Good. At your old salary. Thanks. Well, one surefire cure for a hangover coming up. I feel better already. <laughs> Works every time.
I'll get it. No, no. Al, you're in no condition to get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Come in! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucy, honey, I'm glad to see you. Hold it. I just came by because I called you at home last night and there was no answer. We were afraid something terrible happened to you two. It did. <laughs> but if you don't talk too loud, we'll get over it. Al, I'm ashamed of you. I thought you had more self-respect than that. Oh, go on, Lucy. Tell me about self-respect while you take it away from me. Al, I just do not understand you. All right, baby, understand this. I want to pay my own way. See, I come from a family where I thought my father's only job was waiting for my mother to come home from work. I mean, not just him, but all the men in the neighborhood. I mean, we kids had to go to mama for everything. Even papa had to go to mama for his beer and pool hall money. Well, I've been through that. And I, I'll be damned if I'm going through it again. Al, do you hear yourself? Charlie. Yeah. You know, I love you like a sister. Yeah. So butt out, sister. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Your problem is the poor black ghetto family supported by the mother. Maybe if I'm lucky, this stuff will kill me. <laughs> Al, yesterday you swore this was not the problem. Baby. <laughs> Yesterday, I was afraid to admit that even with four years of college, I might end up like my father. Yeah, well, may I tell you about my father? If you were asking... I already know about the perfect middle-class family. Yeah, well, what you didn't know is that my mama and papa fought over everything. Oh, yeah, papa had a good job, and he sat at the head of the table. And you know what? Papa's money wasn't enough to make either one of them happy. Well, at least you knew who was in charge. Oh, sure, we knew. And Mama knew. <laughs> he wanted her scared, obedient, and in her place. If I had listened to him, I would have grown up just like her. Married to a man who would encourage me to brag about my shiny floors and my new Johnny mop. <laughs> Is that the kind of a wife you want me to be, Al? No! <laughs> No, that's not what I want. Any more than my mother wanted to take the pride out of my father's life. Look, baby, I understand where you're coming from, and I, I, and I want to be there. <laughs> but I might not always be able to make it. At least we understand each other. That's not all bad. Will you marry me? Who's going to pay for the minister? We'll split it. <laughs> Look, if we're hurry, we can make it before lunch. Now? Today? Well, why not? We've got the license. We could drive over to Silver Springs. There's a wonderful little wedding chapel. That Great! Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, I'll, I'll go to the chapel on one condition. Huh? No bells. Wait, flowers. Oh, you flowers. Flowers! flowers. A bride needs flowers. Oh. <laughs> Be happy. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Hey, wait, what about the ring? Are you kidding? I've been carrying it around for weeks. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? You're getting oh, married Charlie. in the morning. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Ding, Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. <laughs> <laughs>